So I have an, a surface that I can iron on. I have my two pieces of fabric that I've chosen for the cover. You really do need something that's 100% cotton, fairly tightly woven. I have the iron set to cotton and it's um, there's a little bit of steam here and I'm just getting out the wrinkles before we start and getting rid of any loose threads. Now, when you use the fusible webbing, you're going to want to follow the manufacturer directions because everyone um, will be using a different brand and we all live in different countries with different um, products. I really um, like this product. Um, I use the light sometimes, sometimes I use the regular, but I always use a two-sided pressure sensitive fusible web. You can also get this on a roll and you can also buy it by the yard. So the directions for this say that I should use the, the iron should be at the temperature of the fabric I'm using. So as I'm using cotton, I'll keep the iron on the cotton setting. You can see here it has plastic on both sides. Then if I carefully peel back one of them, you'll probably see the adhesive right there. And the third item we will need is the backing paper. I'm using this sketch paper, which is um, 9 by 12. This is really inexpensive. Um, I got from an art supply store. We're going to start out with our fabric. We're going to place it wrong side up. I peel back whichever piece, back, piece of backing paper is easiest. You can see the adhesive. Right here, I'm gonna lay it adhesive side down in the center of my fabric. And you see these wrinkles? You don't need to worry about those. Just gonna rub over it. You can just iron straight on this. That's perfectly fine, just like that. You could lay a cloth over this if you were really nervous about getting um, adhesive on your iron. You could also place a silicone mat over the top. I don't hold it in one place. I just keep moving it around to melt the adhesive. I'm gonna leave that for a couple minutes until it's um, cool enough to handle. All right, this is cool enough now for me to touch. I'm going to very carefully peel away from the edge and you can, hopefully you can see right there, I can see the adhesive is on the fabric and I'm just peeling away the paper. And very carefully place my backing paper on top and then you can put a cloth over this you could just put a um, piece of parchment paper from the kitchen or you can use one of these silicone mats or you can just go very carefully around this so that you don't get any glue on there remember this is still on the um, cotton setting and I do have some steam, you can probably hear that too. But remember, follow the directions of your package. Carefully lift this up because it's gonna be hot. I can feel a tiny bit of stickiness around the edge and you're gonna allow this to um, completely dry before we trim it up. So I'm gonna set this to one side. I'm gonna do the same thing all over again. Now both our pieces are cool. I'm gonna trim off the excess fabric. If you find that along this edge here didn't quite stick. It's probably that, um, like Mike, that happened to me right here. It probably means that I laid this slightly, not quite directly on the adhesive. And so that's no big deal. That's why we make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to take my rotary cutter. I'm going to line up one of the grid lines with the top edge of the paper. And I'm actually just going to trim off that little piece there that's probably an eighth of an inch where I didn't get the adhesive. So now it, the adhesive goes all the way to the edge. There we go, so I'm just trimming off the excess fabric. I may get a tiny sliver of paper. Minding your fingers with this very sharp rotary cutter. I'm using a self-healing cutting mat underneath to protect my work surface and to make sure the blade lasts longer. So here we have a nice trimmed piece of book cloth. 